fear. No matter how much we believe in ourselves, that never really goes away. Well, I think I'm not afraid of anything, and then something chases me back down the rabbit hole. But once we catch ourselves, we have to jump right back out there. Supergirl, all new episodes, Sunday, October 14th on The CW. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be breaking down the trailer that you just watched, so this is our second trailer for the season. So get ready guys, Supergirl is starting to release its promotional campaign, we've had a photo this week, and we're getting more information. So anyway, if you do go on to enjoy this video, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any DC TV or Supergirl videos later this year, because we're heading towards the season premiere of season 4 very soon. So last night the CW released a new trailer for Supergirl and it gives us quite a lot of new footage to actually break down and go through so I'm very excited to be breaking this down with you guys and so in the first shot of the trailer we get to see Supergirl as she's flying through the air and it looks like she has been attacked by someone using kryptonite and I'm fairly sure it's all new footage apart from like a few scenes in the trailer which I will skip past and so it seems like someone is using kryptonite against her but it could be the main villain, it could be someone else, I'm guessing maybe it's something to do with Agent Liberty or something like that because he's actually featured in the trailer. But anyway, moving on to the next shot, this is a shot of an explosion in some sort of cafe or diner or some sort. This kind of looks like Nicole Maines' character near now to me, maybe this is her actually saving someone from this explosion. We know she's going to become a hero at some point in this season, so this looks like her to me. Don't know, can't confirm that 100%, but moving on to the next shot, we get to see Supergirl, and we get to see a man and Supergirl smiling, so I think obviously Supergirl has saved him, and so that's why she's smiling and she flies away. So moving on to the next scene, and we get to see a kid, and I think he's holding a Bebo doll, which is very funny, and you get to see the villain of the episode, and he looks like one of those aliens that was featured really early on in season one. I totally forgot the name, but it's in the episode in season one where Supergirl go accidentally makes an oil tank leak it seems very similar but it's very demonic and very kind of creepy if I'm honest and so moving on to the next shot we get to see Supergirl in her space like suit obviously this is only going to be for one episode it's temporary due to the fact that someone probably uses kryptonite against her which we saw in the first shot of the trailer so I'm guessing this is after that so she adapts she gets a new suit just for that bit and so we get to see that same guy as he's throwing some sort of hammer at her and it seems to be like a boomerang type thing maybe it goes hand in hand with his powers but I don't know but the suit looks pretty decent in action it doesn't look like anything too special and so moving on to the next shot we get to see Kara playing that mentor role and she's in fact talking to Nicole Maines' character Nia now as she's going to be taking her under her wing, most likely just as Nia at the start of the season, and then as the season goes on, I reckon as Nia actually becomes a hero, or starts to gradually become that hero, I think Supergirl might take her under her wing. So, very exciting to see more shots of Kara. So, moving on to the next shot, we get our first official look at Nicole Maines in this season. So, it's a really nice shot, and I think it's part of the same conversation due to the camera angle, and so that's just Kara being the mentor and if I'm totally honest this trailer doesn't really hype me up too much more than I already am I'm really excited but it didn't really boost my excitement for the season all too much because it only has a few little interesting things like seeing Nicole Maines seeing the suit in action and that's about it if I'm honest so I don't know I think episode one is going to be a little bit bland and I think as the season goes on, it's going to be more exciting. So that's just my opinion, obviously. And so we get a shot, and this is of Mercy Graves. And in the comics, Mercy is actually the bodyguard to Lex Luthor. So I'm guessing this is going to be all tied up to Lena's story this season because she's still a series regular. And so we get a shot of Sam Witwer as Agent Liberty, but obviously as his normal self. And we get a shot of him in his Agent Liberty costume, which does look pretty cool if I'm totally honest. It is very menacing, I like the mask. The suit looks pretty nice as well, so, you know, I'm really excited to see what's coming, but 
you know, nothing too special there. And the final shot is Supergirl flying over the sea, and I'm not sure if this is a new shot or not. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Shut free.